Oh, he's not a recording? <laughs> <laughs> Go time, baby. Woo, it's time to get started on Andrew's car. So, let's go ahead and get everything out. Look at Andrew. We're changing that. Now, we're going to get ate up by all these damn spiders. Like bad, bad. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get my car out and get his car in. But while we got a little bit of daylight, I wanna go ahead and show you what we got in the back of the truck. Boom, check it out, guys. So this is a TKO 600 face plated transmission, courtesy of none other than Neo Mustangs, the man. What the? <laughs> the ninja? So yeah, if you guys were wondering uh, where the transmission went that Neo took out of his car, well, you know, we kind of got that. We got new clutch, new flywheel. Um, I don't even know what all he's got in here. He's got a bunch of new parts in here. So we'll figure all that out once we get the boxes open. Just like that, guys, Andrew's going back five speed. I went automatic, he's going five speed. So uh, there will be another five speed on the channel. Hopefully it's gonna be pretty nasty too. If he can shift it, I don't know. Think you'll be able to shift this thing? He's probably still gonna miss gears. <laughs> yeah, if you miss gears, you got a bad problem. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this car out. truck and go get it yeah. all right it well that's it andrew forgot the pilot bearing so he's going to take the truck over there and go get that and we'll get started there again i have to remind you guys this is not going to be a complete tutorial on how to put a transmission in a car we're going to share some stuff with you guys and that's going to be about it i'm sure there's going to be some fun times involved in this we'll catch y'all in just a minute I don't know if you can read that or not but it says rebuilt tko 600 neo mustangs so yeah the man himself built this transmission this literally just came out of his car a couple weeks ago all right so where we're at right now is we just put the uh new flywheel in that's a billet flywheel so should be good there andrew's just cleaning up under here real quick like we're gonna go ahead and stab this clutch and transmission in uh I think something that i want to kind of cover just because i know we've not covered it in a long time we've got some new subscribers to the channel and uh that's the story on this car i'm not going to go in depth but this is a really cool story with this particular mustang back here that's andrews so uh when did i buy this car andrew back 2009 uh, something like that. yeah 2009 or 2010 but i bought this car from a buddy of mine and uh, it was a really clean car uh thing had super low miles on it what like 80 something thousand miles or something like that like really low miles uh he had taken really good care of it. it was a nice car the only thing it really needed was paint and it didn't even have to have that but we decided we'd go ahead and paint this thing tuxedo black with the original top color on the bottom of the car now put the stripe across it put the wheels on it and uh that was that well obviously 
it's now Andrew's car. So it's really cool that he now has this car. And I mean, he's, he's not stopped working on it. He's worked on this thing pretty much ever since he's got it. It's seen a couple different iterations, if you will, of itself. Uh, it was fuel injected, now it's carbureted. I had seen a uh, good God, I see a TKO 500 or 600. 3550. 3550, that's right, that he had in his car. It had a T5 in it. Then it had the C4, which is now in the green car. And now he's going back with the five speed. So, really cool story, guys. If you don't know that, this car has been kept in the family for a pretty good while now. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead, finish up some of this stuff, and we'll probably get back with you once we probably put the clutch in, stuff like that. If there's anything that I can help you with that I can think of, I will. So most of you are going to know that there's nothing to swapping from an automatic to a T5 that's already had a T5 in it. This car still has the pedal assembly still in it, so this is a really easy swap. All we did was take his C4 out, take the transmission lines out, and all you have to do is put your clutch, put all your stuff back in, stab the transmission in it, hook the clutch cable up, and that's it. There's nothing else to this. It's very, very simple. That's why I always recommend that you guys leave your clutch pedal assembly in if you're swapping to an automatic. Just leave it in there because you never know. Yeah, Andrew said he knew one day it'd be a five-speed again. All right, guys, I'll get back up with you in just a minute. Oh, it's smoking. That's around my face, man. <laughs> Andrew, what you doing? Making a mess? Yeah. Looking not pretty enough. good. Yeah, not enough, but it, it looks good. Now he can he can clean all this stuff later. He just wanted to get all this up here. So it's looking good, guys. This is a very simple process. There's not a lot to it. We even got we even got Benny over here for moral support. Yeah. Andrew. <laughs> Stop! What? You're getting it everywhere. <laughs> he did it for the camera. Do it for the vibe. He trying, man. Hi. As you can see, the transmission is in. Uh, it's been smooth. Really, no yeah. no major issues for the most part. I've um, just been doing it slowly. Yeah, we've just been taking our time with this. As you can see, Andrew's started cleaning under here so it's got an, it's got grease from about three transmissions going out under yeah. here so you can see this area right up through here behind the transmission how nice and clean that's going to be uh we're probably just going to pressure wash underneath it like i did mine at some point yeah so, just trying to get um, everything that i would have to fool the transmission for off before excuse me why don't you just ask me for it fool because you talk excuse me man what'd you what'd you eat just a minute ago nothing <laughs> This is a judgment free zone. <laughs> this, ain't this ain't Planet Fitness, dog. We judge everybody. Exactly. That's messed up, man. You need to get off my board. Why? So you can get on him? Yeah. That's gay. Got the transmission in the car. Um, I'm trying to think of anything that I can tell you here. It's it's really super simple. Um, transmission bolted right up. Uh, clutch went in good. Um, they heavier than T5. Yeah, it's obviously a lot heavier. We're about to put the cross member in in just a second. Um, <laughs> <laughs> really nothing to say. We'll probably get the car running tonight, fired up. There's really not much left. All we gotta do is finish filling the transmission up, cross member and exhaust and drive shaft. That's it. So, but the way we've been working, it's probably another two hours. This is what's going on. The output shaft right here is 31 spline or yeah, 31 spline and factory is like 28. So we didn't realize that because a TKO 500 or a 3550 is 28 spline. We didn't realize that the 600 is 31. So that's something that you gotta pay attention to. So we got two drive shafts here. We've got um, this drive shaft basically come out of a Fox body, but either way, we gotta get a yoke regardless. And we have to figure out uh, basically which universal joints that we need. So by the time you guys watch this video, we'll have figured it out. We don't know if we need a bastard joint or not, but I think he's gonna go ahead and order both you joints just to be safe and order the yoke. And guys, that's it. And like I said, it's a bump in the road. It happens, figured I'd go ahead and uh, let you guys know that. So if you are putting a 600 uh, in your car, be aware of that, that your yoke uh, is not gonna work. What are you doing, Benny? Try not to sneeze. Try not to sneeze? Yeah. You want to sneeze on camera? Can I'm, you do it? I'm allergic to work. <laughs> it's hot. I'm sweating. <laughs> I believe it. It's not hot, man. It's I'm literally. Crazy, 
Oh, Lord. Andrew says that he found it. 13, it's an M. 4635A, it's a crossover joint, 1310, 1330. We got a five-speed back in the corral. It's going to be awesome. Oh, do we even really cover the fact that this is a face-plated TKO? I think I mentioned it earlier, but just to remind you guys, this is a face-plated TKO 600 built by Neo Mustang. So huge shout-out to Neo Mustangs, guys. Look, if you need a transmission rebuilt, I mean, he can do it. He's the man. And uh, this transmission has been pretty fast already. It's got a fresh rebuild in it, and we're good to go. So this is originally going to be my transmission that we put in the green car, and then we just did the whole swap and I got his automatic, and he's going five-speed. So Andrew will be back on the road probably before I am. Although my car runs and drives, nowhere near ready to race. Andrew should be ready to race almost immediately. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. And as always, thanks for watching. Come on, man. I ain't getting it out. You get it out. You get it out, motherfucker. I ain't doing it. Benny, how about, give me, give me the damn pliers. You ain't doing nothing but pull out. Oh, you, you, you can't see get it, it no better. more. Give me the guy. Give me the flash Oh, you can't see nothing no more. Oh, you just not recording? <laughs> 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 guys look we were gonna wrap this video up but uh Please, man you. we saw like <laughs> look i want y'all to look what andrew did to his car <laughs> look that's wd-40 all down the side of his car he literally tried to spray brake cleaner on it but i wouldn't let him i don't care look at all these little spiders they have hatched out they are everywhere look 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 everyone crawling right there andrew where? Right here. I ain't got no brake cleaner now. Don't spray that. Literally, and I'm not joking, there was a black widow up under here. So those uh, those are black widow eggs. We know that for sure because there was a black widow right there. Apologies. But anyway, yeah. Where is it at? Did you completely squish it? Uh, it's probably on the bottom of you. Yeah. Oh, well, I a, think it's crawling on me, man. <laughs> I know. I, oh, I feel like everything's crawling on me. Anyway, we've been killing spiders underneath this car for an hour now. I want to make sure. What are you doing, Andrew? That's what the other spider was. So I was just to make sure you didn't have no friends. They're probably all in my car, too. I'm going to get bit on the ass cheek trying to race it. <laughs> Look at the front up here. Look at this. This is by the way. Up there. You didn't see what was just flying around you, then? It wasn't nothing flying. The hell it wasn't. White what? widows don't fly. It was a roach bug. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Andrew loves roaches. Everybody's no. gangster until the cockroach starts flying. No, Andrew, you tried to tear my vehicle at one time. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little roach in the car. Andrew no. saw it and literally tried to jump out at the stop sign. Like, we wouldn't even stop yet. You remember that day? No, man. It looked like something on some film, like 1960s Godzilla movies. That's how big it was, man. You don't need, you need to clean this car better. Yeah, awesome. filthy Tomorrow we're gonna set some bombs off underneath here, and, and may even be some like legit bombs. I don't know. We don't <laughs> like if we can't get this under control because we don't want these. Obviously, we don't want the spiders in the shop. You know, all jokes aside, and we, Andrew don't want them in the car with him. And guys, this this is just a problem. This is a real problem. What? You got old wasp nest. <laughs> Jesus. What <laughs> happened when you leave it parked for you about a hold year? This, that motherfucker's hot. Uh-huh. You can't really hold the bus. Well, look. Uh, another thing, Andrew is actually building a shop here pretty soon. Or in, he's going to be in the process of building a shop. So at that point, this car can stay in the shop and hopefully uh, not, I don't know, infest his shop anyway. That's the biggest thing is getting yeah. all these things killed. Uh, we're going to tarp the car. It might infest the first one, but after I burn that one down, it'll be a clean slate, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna tarp the car tomorrow we're gonna throw a tarp over it lower it down and set off like 10 bombs underneath it and then we're gonna bomb the shop itself too <sighs> this is ridiculous